Well, hi guys and girls, Emma again, welcome back to the spare room. Little project this afternoon, uh, ongoing project here on this dividing head. There'll be an update for this in the Wednesday night feed. Uh, I was going to shoot a sort of an overview update of this and what I've done and what I've what I've achieved, but it might be better left till tomorrow night. So anyway, I thought I'd do a video here about filing buttons, which is a fairly useful thing to make. And they generally be made here and thrown out and, and never used again, but they're worth the time and they're pretty quick to make. I've just machined three up here, and they're different purposes, they're all for different things. This one fits in this hole and is the right diameter to file this, this lever down to be a nice neat fit, a nice neat concentric circle with the bolt, which is this, it's got a, it's got a, a dowel or a pin in there and then a keyway in the, in the hole to stop it turning. That goes in there nicely like that. But this looks a bit ugly so far because we've changed the design and the hole ended up in a different spot and I left a little bit on it and all that sort of stuff. So if we make a hard button and file that down, that'll be a nice job. The other thing is this arm, which is a, goes on the head here, something like this when it's done. This is a plastic 3D printed prototype that I made, but this will be adjustable like this with a washer on top and a bolt, which should be pretty good, I think, I hope. We'll see if it works. But this needs round corners or round ends on it like this. We're going to machine a slot in it, but until then, it really does need to be finished off. I've just drilled these out to finish the slot, and they're a bit undersized. I think it's about 9.2, and I think I'm going to clean them up to about 3.8 on the inside, which is 9. which is 9.5, something like that. And I've made these the same diameter as this, and I've got these nicely in the centre. There's one for there and one for that end. This is uh, to be tapped M8, so before we tap it, that's, we know that's going to be 6.8 millimetres, something like that. So I've drilled it, and... We've made a couple of buttons out of 4140, which is a uh, molybdenum hard steel. These could do with a bit of a wash up because they are a bit grotty because they're only old scrap. Most of these were short off cuts that were laying around the shop. And I've written a program for the oven to heat these to 875 Celsius for half hour. They can give me an alarm and then I'm going to quench them in oil and file the ends. Let's get these cleaned up and put them in the oven. So I've written a program here. Which takes us through the 4140 hardening cycle. Before this warms up, which isn't very long, we'll just drop all these in here. Gloves are probably a good idea if we were anything but filing buttons. Close that off and that's starting to climb. It's at 60 degrees already. I'm going to leave them be, run through the cycle and we'll quench them in oil. and have a bit of a look at them. But in the meantime, let's have a look at some of the, the amazing videos that have been entered in the tool making competition this week. First, uh, first entry was from Marcus Wilson at J JB from Oz, some of you might know him as. The great channel, he's entered three years in a row, which is not a bad effort. This year, 
his entry is making a 3D printer. That's worth looking at. The easiest way to find these videos is to just go and click the hashtag at the bottom of this video. Uh, tool making competition 2019. The other hashtag is when hell freezes over. Because this video is going to be announced, the winner is going to be announced at the Summer Bash in California, June the 22nd. Not that long to go. And you can see all the, the Summer Bash updates and creators and videos about that. If you click on the other the other hashtag but first video was from JB from Oz Marcus Wilson the 3d printer video go and check that out um, if you can find it also check out his video from last year uh, and from the one before both very good videos Second video was from Cam at Battler, or Cam McCown. Thanks, Cam, for a for a really good entry. Of course, Cam always over engineers everything. It's worth uh, a look to go and have a. It's worth going to have a look at that. He's made some car twist type clamps. You know, little C section clamps with a screw. They seem to be a really nice job. And of course, if you want to know how to open engineer anything, go and check out Cam's, Cam's channel. Third one this week was from John Creasy. Um, really good video too about making a button die. It's pretty cool video. John always good fun videos. When he does make them, they're worth, they're worth a look. Lots of good content there and a bit of a smile too lots to see and last but not least the other entry that we got this week is from Poppy's workshop uh, a pretty cool little adaption for a a Sherline, comp a Sherline compound rest a pretty cool little adaption to use bigger tools than the Sherline compound rest. So if a little lazy or thing, that's worth a look to. A really good idea there. And all pretty good videos. Just a caution if you are entering, read the rules before you do. Video length is a maximum of 20 minutes. You should be able to do that, guys. Um, bit of editing. Cut it down. Give us the basics. And I know you can do that. But um, if you enter, whatever you enter, we're going to put it in the playlist with the rest of the videos. So go and check them out because they're all good videos and everyone's put a little bit of effort into them. Uh, you... They're, they're well worth it, well worth a look. Anyway, that oven is is up to 230 degrees, so everything's going along swimmingly. I'm going to stop this video, have a mess about with this while I'm waiting, and we'll come back and have a lock when we pull them out. So... So there we go. We've got a nice hard steel button that's not going to mark up before the, the material that we're filing. And this piece needs to be thinner than the material that you're filing so that you can still clamp this nice and tight and file around it in the vise. So don't let that, leave that a little bit under flush and make this if you can 
at least the thickness of the plate that you're going to file up. So that helps get everything nice and square and flat. Next job with these is to file them up and put a slot in this one, tap that hole and give this a clean up. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you found this useful to quote Keith Appleton and be kind to each other. More soon guys and girls and check out the videos in the competition, they're awesome.